Alright, so now we're doing problem two. Um, problem two says, evaluate using f of x for a problem one, the limit as x approaches one from the right of f of x. Alright, so recall for problem one, we had this function. x squared plus 2x minus 3, all that divided by x cubed minus x. So now we want to take the limit as x approaches 1 from the right. Okay, so what I usually do is go ahead and plug in 1, see if it works. Okay, I plug in 1. So we get 1 squared plus 2 times 2 times 1 minus 3 divided by 1 cubed minus 4. Alright, so we do this, we get 1 squared is 1, we get 2 here, so that's 3, 3 minus 3 is 0, and we get 1 cubed, 1 minus 1 is 0. So that's undefined, or indeterminate. So, what we have to do is go ahead, alright, so that means we got to do some more work. Alright, so recall what we did for problem 1, we went ahead and factored this out. So let's go ahead and do that again. So we can factor this expression here. Okay, so we factor this expression, we're left with x here, x here, so plus 3 and a minus 1. This one is can be factored, x, x squared minus 1. Okay, let's keep factoring this. Um, top stays the same. Alright, so we factor here, x squared minus 1, difference of squares. So we have x, x plus 1. Cancel this out. That's a whole. So we're left with the limit as x approaches 1 from the. By the way, I didn't put limit here and didn't put limit here, but usually you want to put limits in front. So right, right here I'm going to put it. So we have limit x plus 3 divided by x, x minus 1. Alright, now let's go ahead and try to plug in the 1 now. Alright, so plug in 1. We get 1 plus 3 divided by 1 times, did I cancel? Yeah, I'm supposed to cancel out this one, sorry. So that's that x plus 1 here. x minus 1 and x minus 1 cancel out. So that's x plus 1. Alright, good. Alright, so we plug in 1. We got 1 plus 3. 1, this is 1 plus 1. Alright, good. So that's 4 on the top, on the numerator. And then we have 1 plus 1 is 2 times 1, that's 2. So we have 4 divided by 2, and that's 2. Therefore, the limit as x approaches 1 of this function is going to be 2. So first, what we had to do, we checked, we plugged it in, checked to see if it works. It didn't work, so we went ahead and factored it. We canceled out the x minus 1, the x minus 1. We obtained this expression. So now with this expression, we went ahead and plugged in the 1. So we're plugging the 1 here for the x's. We got 1 plus 3, 4, and 1 times 2, 2. We got two.